Welcome to the Cincinnati Art Museum's CAM Look. Each Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will share an object from the permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Check back every Tuesday and Thursday for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Helen, a docent at the Art Museum. In CAM's current exhibition, Beyond Bollywood, 2,000 Years of Dance and Art, we see paintings and sculptures installed under bright lights carefully arranged by theme. But these treasures were originally intended for spiritual or personal use, not for display in a museum. It's fascinating to explore who created an artwork and the reasons why it was created. Today, we'll look at an exquisite painting, the who and why of how it was created, that's in the current exhibition and is from Cam's collection. The sword dance is from Mughal, India, about 1640, and is approximately 15 by 9 inches. It's one page from an album that was commissioned by or for the fifth emperor of the Mughal Empire, Shah Jahan, who reigned from 1628 to 1658. He's the famous emperor who built the Taj Mahal for his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal. According to historians, Shah Jahan's reign was the peak of the Mughals' architectural achievements and cultural glory. A senior artist in the Emperor's Royal Workshop designed this page, then supervised other artists who finished the composition. Later, it was bound together with more pages into an album. Other paintings in the album might include portraits, events and scenes from court life, wildlife and hunting scenes, calligraphy, and illustrations of battles. This painting style was influenced by Persian miniature painting traditions, which included the use of richly decorated borders and an elevated viewpoint. We see a sword dancer performing, his saber flashing above his head. The curved blade is perhaps from the Islamic world and would likely have been only a prop. Sword dances in Mughal India were common at imperial celebrations and were often part of the festivities surrounding the birth of a male heir. Sword dancing is also associated with Rajasthani and Sikh kingdoms, regions with strong connections between martial discipline and kingship. Sword dancing in modern times is a martial art. European realism also influenced Mughal paintings especially portraiture. While there is no specific information, these three gentlemen could be courtiers or officials. Their faces are individualistic and show emotion. What worries the man in the middle? The details in their colorful clothing, turbans, and the blooming flowers in the carpet are amazing, considering that the central image is only about seven by nine inches. Notice the large tent in the background. Is the party at a temporary encampment, perhaps at a hunting party? Had a message arrived with good news about the birth of a son? Perhaps the two men to the right were the messengers. Three musicians accompany the sword dancer with drums and cymbals. With them are two men who could be singers. Notice the borders with the naturalistic depictions of birds and vines. I imagine the emperor, empress, prince, or princess sitting quietly, looking through an album and enjoying each scene, admiring the details, perhaps seeing this painting and remembering when the celebration occurred and why. Albums were passed from father to son, with each owner adding more paintings or pages of calligraphy. What would other pages in the album look like? The Metropolitan Museum of Art has 21 pages from a Shah Jahan album. This Shamsa, literally sun, traditionally opened imperial Mughal albums. Worked in bright colors and gold, the painted arabesques are enriched with fantastic flowers, birds, and animals. The inscription in the center reads, His Majesty, Shihabadin Muhammad Shah Jahan, the King, Warrior of the Faith, may God perpetuate his kingdom and sovereignty. 
You can see the sword dance in Gallery 233 in the Beyond Bollywood exhibition. Take time to study the details and maybe imagine holding the album in your hands privately as it was first used. Do you, your parents or grandparents, have photo albums full of family pictures? Do you scroll through the photos on your phone, remembering the good times they capture? Among family, around the world, and here, people enjoy remembering the good times using visual images. Thank you for joining us on Camlook today.